Much of the innovation focus in the open RAN sector is on software, but hardware developments are just as important. And to find out more, I'm talking today with Don Hawkins, Director of 5G Development at Dell Technologies. So Don, great to talk with you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, uh, Dell is primarily known as a server infrastructure provider, but when it comes to the open RAN market, it seems you're doing much more than that. Uh, can you give us an overview of Dell's involvement in open RAN developments? Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, a lot of the work Dell's doing in open RAN is centered around the creation of our um, telecom systems business unit. This was announced last year and it's been in, in the works for some time, and um, it involves a, a total focus of the needs of the telecom customers. We, uh, in Mobile World Congress this year, we had the opportunity to come together as a, as a team in, in the telecom systems business unit. And you got to see the, the breadth of the organization that was created inside Dell to address the needs of the specific telecom uh, customers. and. For us as an engineering team in Dell, it was a, a real reminder of the focus that we're putting on in the engineering solutions we're, we're developing to, to bring to open RAN solutions that the customers are looking for. Okay. Now, what can you tell us about the areas where Dell has been innovating for the open RAN community? Yeah, quite a bit. And at MWC, we announced a number of areas where we're bringing innovations. Um, we announced uh, Bare Metal Orchestrator, where we're bringing uh, infrastructure for the servers into uh, to the customers. Hotel Lab, where we're integrating open RAN solutions to make them consumable for, for carriers. And on the hardware side, in addition to servers, where Dell's strength has been um, for years, we announced... Uh, one of the, the, you know, we were pretty proud to be part of a, a team working with Marvell on announcing an open RAN accelerator card, a PCIe based form factor uh, layer one inline solution that's new to open RAN and um, is a key innovation we feel to help uh, move open RAN forward. Okay. So, I mean, what would be the primary challenges that this card addresses for operators? Uh, and what kind of benefits can the Dell Accelerator card deliver to customers? Well, when in the RAN applications that uh, Open RAN is looking to address, as you move closer to the radio unit, the, the challenges become, um, become harder for general purpose processing to, to meet. And we chose an architecture um, with Marvell to use a, a system on chip that is more aligned with the type of processing that's needed in layer one. So this is a creation of a, of a car that can leverage the COTS platforms, uh, server platforms that operators want to see be used to allow the open ecosystem to take advantage of that scale and innovation. So we have a layer one card now that computes all layer one processing that connects directly to radio units um, and then can leverage the ecosystem of layer one providers, providing a, another hardware component um, that uh, can then give a scalable solution um, and a performance solution for the RAN. We feel like this is what um, the operators are looking for one innovation in the industry that doesn't include a lock-in on solutions. So it's a exciting, exciting announcement we made and uh, working with a partner like Marvell has been, has been very, uh, very positive. And how would you describe the reception from the industry for this product? The reception has been fantastic. So as I said, the industry is, is looking for innovation. They're looking for these platforms that allow different vendors to come and meet the performance needs. So on the, on the customer side, uh, you know, we're, we're talking with them and understanding that how their needs and solutions can be met with, 
with a solution like the Open RAN Accelerator card. And then for partners um, and chipset vendors and RAN layer one software vendors, this is an opportunity to get onto a COTS platform and take advantage of, of the, the scalability of those. So it's been very positive. Our engineering team it continues to work to, to take that to market. You know, we're really excited about uh, the engagements we've had so far and look forward to uh, further announcements. So in, in terms of further and future announcements, Don, I mean, what are the next steps for Dell in the open RAN sector? Yeah, we're, we're going to continue to to broaden and deepen our engagements with our customers and our partners with the telecom systems business unit. Um, the the chipset vendors um, who are providing the merchant silicon that a lot of the solutions are based on, you know, we are dependent on, on that development and we're going to bring that ecosystem forward to make sure that the solutions that are available uh, meet the needs of, of the operators. So working with partners and customers um, for open RAN solutions will be coming from, from Dell in the future. Okay, well, the operators are starting to communicate more and more about the exact requirements they need for their open RAM plans. So we look forward to seeing what Dell has coming down the pipe in the future and to talking to you again as well, Don. So thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. 